Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 283. That is, what is risk-based testing? Let me answer. So what is risk-based testing? So before understanding what exactly is a risk-based testing, we have to first understand what is a risk, okay? In real world, it let's understand, guys, okay? Let's understand the risk in a real world, okay? So for that, I'll give an example. Let's say there is a, uh, this is your house or home, whatever you call, okay? So uh, this house, let's say you are traveling to some place or whether you stay in the home or whatever it may be, okay? This, every house will have a entrance, right? A door will be there, okay? Gate will be there, door will be there. Why, why this door? Okay, why you have, why you need a door? Because there is a possibility or a, there is a risk that a robber may get into your house, okay? If, if it is, if your house is open, anyone can enter into your house and uh, steal your stuff, right? That's where the doors were, got invented. Doors are not enough. Again, you have to lock it, okay? You have to lock the door. If you have not locked the door and uh, just you have the doors, the risk of the robber getting into your house and uh, stealing the stuff of yours is also there, okay? And again, just locking is not enough, okay? The robber may come and break the lock and go away, okay? There's a possibility that you can install a security cam here, okay? Just to see who is actually coming to your house and doing all this stuff, okay? There's a security cam. Uh, this may not stop the robber from uh, uh, like uh, getting into the house, but at least, uh, 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 after after the uh, incident happens, there's a possibility that you can catch the robber and get your stuff back. Okay, like this. This is what is risk, guys. Okay, so what is a risk? So this is a real world example of a risk. Okay, everyone is at risk, right? So of robbery and all. Okay, so here risk is a possibility of a negative or undesirable outcome. There is a possibility of robbery, which is an undesirable or negative outcome, right? Uh, where uh, a robber may come here and steal your stuff, okay? So your house is risky probably, okay? So that that that's in general or real world, what is a risk means. In software also, in software also, there is a possibility of risk. When, when you release the software into the market, there is a possibility of risk that some important critical areas of the functionality may not work, okay? There may be some critical defects that the testing team may have missed. Why the testing team will miss all the defects that are very important, why the important functionalities are not working. There may be many reasons, guys, okay? Testers were not given enough time or there were resource constant, less number of testers are there, but more number of environment, test environments are there. You are, uh, you are unable to test in multiple environments, all the environments unable to cover all the environments or budget constraints are there where uh, because indirectly when budget is a constant, time will be a constant and uh, resources will be the constant. And due to all this stuff, guys, what happens, the software will not be tested properly and will be released as it is. And the customers who are actually purchasing the software and using them for their daily use, right, will come across some kind of uh, important areas of the software as not working and they are unable to use the software, okay? This is what is the risk is all about. There is a possibility of risk, okay? So the customer will reject your software and uh, your sales will go down. That is a risk, okay? Your sales will go down and no one is willing to purchase your business reputation will go down. All these are the possible risks, guys, okay? The, even there's a possibility where someone may file a case against you because uh, whatever the product uh, you have sold is not tested well or something, okay? So, uh, and many other things, okay? So, so, so to how to overcome this problem? How to overcome this problem? There is a possibility of risk for sure, but uh, how to overcome this problem in software before releasing the software into the market due to some constant like time constraints or okay, whatever the, when to perform actually, when to perform this risk-based testing, okay? Generally, when we have some time constraint or resource, uh, number of resources constraint and environments are more uh, budget constraints, many other reasons, whatever it is, we have to perform risk-based testing. That means the important areas or functionalities uh, uh, after uh, of the software, okay, need to be tested, which need to be tested first before releasing into the market, before releasing software into the market, whatever the areas are, areas are criticalities of the application or impactful areas of the application, which need to be tested first, 
which need to be tested are really tested or not okay the major important critical areas of the software need to be tested first right if there are some problems in the major important critical areas of the software and software is as it is released into the market what happens immediately rejection comes from the customers and all the risk factors happens okay so this may happen when time is a constant or resource is a constant or budget is a constant so in that kind of situation the projects where time is a constant resource is a constant budget is a constant we perform risk based testing how do we perform risk based testing so here guys uh, the concept is prioritization okay so the idea is prioritization you have thousands of test cases thousands of test cases but if the time is a constant can you run all the thousands of the test cases is it possible in less time no not at all possible so what you will do you have to spend some time in okay before you start testing guys okay when before this kind of situation comes where you have less time and uh, you have to perform testing before the situation comes way way before i can say you have to prioritize your tests not only prioritize your tests you have to prioritize your areas of the application for example login functionality is there logout functionality is there search functionality is there contact us functionality is there okay lot of functionalities will be there in the software but not all functionalities have the same priority right uh, they don't have the same risk level login functionality has higher risk level than the contact us okay register account has higher risk level okay search functionality has higher risk level like that we have to investigate and uh, we have to analyze all the areas of the application and uh, decide the risk levels of different areas of the application okay risk levels of different areas of the application we have to analyze and accordingly we have to prioritize our tests and areas of the application we have to prioritize the features or areas of the application and also the test cases that are tests also we have to prioritize so if you do this prioritization and uh, based on this prioritization if you perform testing that is called as risk based testing why we are calling uh, this kind of testing which is following the prioritization of the features and tests for performing the testing as risk based testing because when you test high prioritized test the most important critical areas of the application and the more most important critical major important test cases when you are testing first and uh, the defects okay the defects uh, are identified faster in these areas means automatically the risk of the software failure in the market will get reduced right important defects are fixed first means identified and fixed first means the risk level of the software rejection in the market after releasing that into the market gets reduced that is what is advantage guys okay risk of releasing the software with uh, risky defects will ready will be reduced based on amount of testing done okay because time is a constant if you have a lot of time okay then no problem right you will test everything and uh, you will make sure that no defects is no defects it may be important or non important defects whatever it is critical or uncritical defects you will test everything and you will make it fixed and getting released but here situation comes where time may be the constant resource count may be the constant okay budget may be the constant other things may be the constant because of that if you are not planning your testing well if you are not testing according to the priority of the features and tests there is a possibility that important critical defects may be uh, missed uh, by the testing team and the software will be released as it is and you see important critical areas of the uh, functionalities main uh, of the application may not work properly for the end users or customers and they will simply reject and you will have lot of risk okay so by this risk based testing approach we are we are reducing the risk of uh, failure in, failure of the software after it is released into the market simple words okay so hope guys uh, you understood what is risk based testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye